Right back at it. One of the drop right back at it. One of the truck is back at it again. Today is belt day. All right, so the two belts that came off the top here, right here. The ones on the bottom is here too. So pretty much what you gotta do is pretty much match up the numbers. So the top belts here, always check the numbers. You can see right here, the reason why I know the reason why I'm changing the belts because the belts are cracked, they worn. You see that split right there? There's that. There's a couple more on here. See that split right there? Got a couple more. And make sure you take the these are the belts came out of Napa, so they premium these to 259585. Alright, so that's the bottom belts right here. 9585. So those two, gotta be placed those two. The 22570. Got to go on the top. All right. So it's pretty much what I'm doing now. So make sure you match everything up. You don't get it all screwed up. So these belts right here is the two on the bottom. So what I'm going to need to do it. This bolt right here, that's a 19 millimeter or 34. All right. This big one right here, you're going to need to move this a 15, 16 socket. All right. This one right here is a 19. So you pretty much have to back off this nut here. Back off, screw this one down. All right. So this what you're gonna use to tighten it anyway to go back this way. This one tighten it down to keep it from moving. All right. Keep from rocking. So you're gonna use this one to back down to get this whole alternator to go forward. Once that go forward, you back this one. I could have just left it there, but I still had to back this one down. The little W40. All right. So we gonna go ahead and get these belts off here while I'm at it. Should have enough to pull down. So let's see if I can wiggle this off video so that's it simple as that so what you want to do is get this off here you still got to drop it you got to get over here over the pulley here the fan pulley get it right up under here let me see yes yeah, it's a, it's a, so you get it from under here that wash it is another one on the side so you can get this one off while i'm at it all right so just wiggle it out the way, don't worry about knock your hands loose. All right, so we're gonna get this one here from the top. I know I got the foam. I know I got the foam all over the place. I got it in my hand. So what I want to do now is try to get this from the bottom. Move it up here. Let's go to the other side. All right. So we want to get this from the bottom here. There's one. And try to get this one too from the bottom. You want to clear the stud over there. That's the um, engine mount stud. All right. All right, so pretty much want to slide it from under the stud here. Right there, anyway. As long as I can get it, I should be all right. Hold on one second. There you go, I got it. Now what you want to do is try to spin it through the blade like I'm doing. Get it through the blade. You try yourself crazy, but try to get it in the blade here. Get it between the blades and spin it. That's how you get the belts out of here. Like I always say, if I could touch it, see it, and feel it, or touch it, feel it, and see it, I'm going to change the part regardless. All right, so you just got to keep going through the blades. Like so. Alright, so keep going through the blades. I don't know if you can see it because I have the phone on my hand. Apologize for that. I don't have the GoPro on. I don't expect to really do a video today, but give y'all some content for Sunday. Alright, so pretty much that's it. So these two are gonna go on the bottom. Watch the fan though, you don't want to mess the fan up. I might say, well, them belts ain't go bad. See, what I usually do, if it ain't too bad, I'll put the belts back in the package and I'll put them under the bunk. All right, so let me see something. All right, so they don't look too bad, but since I changed the ones on the top, I'll change these anyway, but. Let's 
see if y'all can see it better. No, nah, there's no cracks in it, but I know they're worn though, so I'm gonna change them anyway, but I will keep these belts. All right, so make sure you remember the part numbers and everything on these belts. So these will go to the side, especially this one. All right, so let me get the other one out. All right, so. These big ones are for the bottom and the skinny ones for the top. All right, so let's see if I can get it to focus. Like I said, all you gotta do is go between the blades. That's pretty much about it. Go between the blades. Get nervous. Just keep moving it until you get it. There you go. All right. Be careful with the fan, though. There you go. Um, let me see. Well, these are pretty decent compared to the other ones I took off. These are decent. So I'll put these to the side. I'll put those under the truck. So I'll put these in my container so I'm not throwing these away. Those go to, on the container. Like I said, I want y'all to look at this. And you can see right there. And you can see the cracks in the belt. You see all of that. All that right there. You didn't see it on the other one, but you damn sure see them on this. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much about it. Let's try to get these belts on. Right. So, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get the help so I can get up out of here. All right, so make sure your numbers match up and everything. There you go. All right. Let's get it. So, what I'm going to do is put this belt on. I'm going to put it between the blade. Let me put the phone down. Get right back to the get the belts on. Right back at y'all. So we got the new belts on for the bottom here. So what I have to do now is push this forward. This got to go forward. And I'll tighten up this bolt here and tighten up this one. So I just got to get this to go forward. So what I usually do is put a wrench here. So what you're going to do, not a wrench, but I'll put this bar here, the breaker bar in that middle. And I'll go forward and I'll tighten everything up. All right. So I got the breaker bar top to bottom so what you want to do you want to push forward you see push forward to tighten everything up just like so so i'm gonna tighten up that big one first another one second all right so let me go ahead all right so we got the belts on all right so now we just gonna get the top one next Make sure you put them on the same way you take them off. It's not hard. Like I said, if you touch it, see it and feel it, you can fix it. You don't need a mechanic. No, you don't need a shop to do everything for you when you're on operator. You can do most of the stuff yourself. All right? So like I said, just get it between the blades and take your time putting them on. Let's get, let's finish up, get, get the one. Let's finish up, get the top one done. Get back at it. So now we got the top belts on. So now all we have to do now, see this little nut over here? Adjust it. This is going to be the tighten nut. So you're going to tighten this up until you feel comfortable enough that she's tight. It's at right where is that now? This is where I took the belts off at. This tells you right here the belts was worn because I had to take this nut all the way to the bottom just to get it to open so I can just get them just to fit them on. All right, so that's your adjustable nut there. So what I'm going to do is tighten this until these belts get tight. So let me get my own. Um, 34, use a 34 wrench or 19, they both the same. All right, so what you're gonna do is keep tightening this until these belts get tight. If you look at the belts, you can see them getting tighter. Right here, I'm gonna have to tighten up this stud here. All right. So, just pretty much keep going so I can get out of here. I gotta zip tie something else, but other than this, get this up, tighten it all up, get the 
focus. There you go. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, share this video. Pretty much as on operator, your job ain't never done as on operator. You always got something to do. Always got something to do with these trucks. Now, if you can watch this right here, you'll see that's getting smaller and smaller. All right, so I need let me uh, put some W40 on that real quick. Take the wrench and keep going until you know it's tight enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them in a minute, but you don't get too tight, but tight enough. See, I'm gonna go probably two more, two more, and that's it. We good to go. That should be, see, that's good right there. See, my problem is I don't stop some time. Right, one more. more. That's good. That's good for me. All right. So if I got to do a little more, I do it. So pretty much got to back this nut right here down and tighten this up. Let's keep anything from moving. So back this one down right here. Tighten this up, and that's good. Be good with that. Sorry, I ain't got the GoPro today using the phone, but it is what it is. Tighten this up. Trying to stay focused for you so you can see what I'm doing. Here. That's it. Once I get that one right here, then the job is done. All right. I'll go with this. 3-4. See, a 3 4 for 19 pretty much the same. That might not fit. Yeah, that ain't going to fit. I'm going to use the wrench on that one. All right. So, we definitely use the wrench. Give me a 3 4. Well, I got my other wrench in there. I should just use that. But. W40s like Robitussin. Put that on everything. You know, W40s like Robitussin. You can put this on everything. Right. Grab the wrench. Be careful though. You don't want to hit that positive line because you will get a nasty spark. So be careful how you're doing all of this. Pretty much done now. Got that tight. I use this. Hey, I had to get an extension on it, so the extension went back from here to here, so I can get it, so I can clear this air duct. All right, so it's pretty much on. So we pretty much done. All I gotta do now: start the truck, let it run. We should be good. All right. Got the headset on because the headset is linked to the phone. But make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel for more content. It's your boy DIY Trucker J, aka Tell Quill All Talk Loud. And I get at y'all, right? So, all you drivers out there, keep wrenching. Take care of your trucks. I'm out of here. Peace.